friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I created an accordion menu interaction with video content. I can expand or collapse each item by clicking other item or itself again. Also, I can play or reset the video by tapping the items. Let's get started. I've already imported the design from Figma and I will use these items layers for the interaction. Each layer has the same structure. Each item contains a button and content box. And within the content box, the contents are masked and they have the same height. We will use this mask to show and hide the content. And I checked use as mask. Also, I have replaced the video from the media tool. Before starting, make sure the items are checked with lower layers touchable. Now I will start adding the interaction. To begin with, I've made the mask height to 0 pixel to hide the content. And I will divide the interaction into three steps opening, closing, and accordion effect. To open the item, I will add a tap trigger for button 1 and remain to rename to tap 1 open, then add a scale response for mask 1 using formula content 1 height. You can also put the exact value, but it worked for me since the content and mask area have the same height. You can see now that the content is displayed. To relocate other items when it expands, I will add a move response to item 2 and I will use move by instead of move to. Move to makes things move to the exact point while move by lets things move as much as the amount you assigned. I will use again the formula with content1 height so item2 moved after item1. I will copy and paste this for item3 and item 3 move as well. Next, I will duplicate this tab and rename it to tab to open with button 2. In the scale response, I will change mask 1 to 2 and content 1 to 2. And I will remove the move response from item 2 since we are not moving this. Lastly, I will change the move item 3 content 1 to 2. Ok, second item is ready. I will duplicate this tab again and rename it to tab 3 open for button 3 and change the scale response from mask 2 to 3 and content 2 to 3. Then I will remove the move because it is the last item. Great! Now all items are opening. Next, to make item close with when I tap again, I will add the tap trigger for button 1 and rename it to tap 1 close. Then I will add a condition for mask 1 height that is equal to formula content1 height. This condition is for the expanded mask. Under this condition, I will add the reset response for mask1 and another reset for item2 and item3. I am resetting what I added earlier. Ok, now I can close and open the item 1. Next, I will duplicate this and rename it to tab 2, close for button 2 and change the condition to mask 1 
to 2 and content 1 to 2. Then change reset to mask 1 to 2 and delete reset for item 2 since we don't want it to reset. Great! Item 2 can be closed now. Lastly, I will duplicate this again and rename it to tab 3 close for button 3 and change the condition to mask 2 to 3 and content 2 to 3. Then change reset to mask 2 to 3 and delete reset for item 3 since we didn't move other items. Super! Item 3 is also ready. Last but not least, I will add an accordion effect. I will add a new tab for button 1 and rename it to tab 1 accordion and add a condition for mask 2 height equals to the formula content 2 height. And I will duplicate this condition and change mask 2 to 3 and content 2 to 3. Because when I tap 1, I want to reset the rest of the items. So, in the condition for mask 2, I will add the reset response for mask 2 and add a move response for item 2 with the formula item 1 y plus item 1 height. Then I will duplicate this for item 2, 2, 3 and add button 2 height at the end of the formula. This means if the item 2 is expanded when I tap the item 1, the item 2 mask resets and item 2 moves to after the item 1. Since item 3 comes after button 2, its height is added in the end. Now when I tap item 2, then item 1, item 1 expands and item 2 is pushed and reset. Under the condition for mask 3, I will copy-paste a reset response for mask 2 and change to mask 3. And copy-paste also both move response from above. Great, it works when I click the item 3, then 1. Next, I will add a new tab trigger for button 2 and rename it to tab 2 accordion. Then I'll just copy from the condition above and change it to mask 1 and content 1 and change the reset response to mask 1. This time I'll add a new reset for item 2 to go back to the original position and erase the move for item 2 and keep the move for item 3. You can see it works when I tap item 1, then 2. Again, I will copy-paste the condition for mask 3 from above, leave the reset for mask 3, and move for item 3, and erase the move for item 2. Great, it works tapping item 3, then 2. Lastly, I will add a tab trigger for button 3 and rename it to tab 3 accordion. Again, I'll copy paste the condition from above mask 1 and delete the move responses. Then I will leave the reset for mask 1 and item 2 and add one more reset for item 3. Okay, it works, then when I tap item 1, then 3. Next, duplicate this condition and change the condition mask 1 to 2 and content 1 to 2 
and change the reset response mask from 1 to 2. Then delete the reset for item 2 and leave the reset, reset for item 3. Super! Now the accordion works in every direction. Lastly, to play the video, I will add a new tab for play button 1 and add the playback response for video 1. Then I will add an opacity response for play button 1 with 0 opacity. So when I tap the play button, the video will play and the button will disappear. Then I will go to tab 1 close and add the opacity for play button 1 with 100 opacity. Then I will add the reset for video 1 to reset when, I, when we close the item. I will copy paste this two to each condition for tab 1 accordion so that it also stops when I click other items. You can see that when I hit the play button, the video starts and when I close the item and opens again, the video goes back to the beginning. Finally, the accordion menu is ready. I can expand or collapse each item by clicking other items or itself again. Also, I can play or reset the video by tapping the items. That's it for today. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe and mark the bell to get notification for upcoming videos. See you soon!